Hey, good morning, everybody. At the time of this recording, it is 8 a.m. straight up, 8 a.m. Pacific time on this Tuesday, August 27th, 2024. And finally today, as this audio video, um, audio podcast will tell you, finally today, this morning, Paramount Pictures and Sega, an original film, released the first trailer, teaser trailer, trailer, whatever you want to call it, of Sonic the Hedgehog 3 uh, with Keanu Reeves as the voice of Shadow. I'm not going to show you, and I do apologize for that notification right there, your email notification. Uh, I do apologize for that and any more that may happen throughout this. For some odd reason, (laughs) for some odd reason, basically, uh, my phone likes to go and catch up on its notifications when I start using it again. But anyway, like I was saying, like I was saying, uh, basically, they uh, released the trailer today, teaser trailer, what have you, of Sonic the Hedgehog 3, again, featuring the voice of Keanu Reeves as Shadow. Um, this uh, I, this trailer, and like I was trying to say, uh, I'm not going to do a live reaction like I would normally do in the past because, you know, with YouTube's algorithm and stuff and, you know, and, uh, and all that, you know, it's, you know, it's service, it's systems and everything. I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to be able to, you know, not get copyrighted, you know, like claimed, striked, whatever. I don't want to take that chance. So I'm just going to tell you how I feel uh, about the trailer I saw. Now, I know I'm not the only content creator here, you know, full-time content creator, partial content creator. I'm not the only one that's not going to risk, you know, getting copyrighted. I know when Angry Joe... Uh, does uh, some um, some reactions and everything that sometimes he'll put like a fair use logo or something like that um, over the trailer that they're watching and even mute the volume sometimes because of whatever song they're using. So I, I can de- so I can definitely say that he'll be doing that when he does his. But again, I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk any situation because financially I do need the extra money here and there so I don't want to have to you know risk losing that over you know showing um, highlights of a trailer even if I put that trailer in reverse I'm not going to you know risk you know getting in you know getting in some trouble uh, you know whether I just whether I keep the reaction up or not or whether the reactions kept up or not on my channel, I still don't want to take a, a you know, a, a hit, if you know what I mean. Uh, but anyway, getting into my reaction about three minutes into this, um, getting into my reaction, I thought the trailer looked good. Um, what this mainly is, uh, in case some people are wondering, okay, this is a great trailer, but, you know, wh- why is it, why does it feel different? Like, what is going on here? Well, first of all, this is a loose adaptation. It's not a straight-up adaptation, but it's a loose adaptation of Sonic, of Sonic Adventure 2. It is a loose adaptation. Uh, it does, it is, well, I wouldn't say does, but it is taking elements from, you know, from the game and everything. So I do like that. Now, what's interesting um, about this is you have Jim Carrey, who people thought after Sonic Adventure, two, uh, Sonic Sonic the Hedgehog two, I should say, and it's early. I just woke up a little while ago. I just poured myself some coffee and everything, so I do apologize. But everybody thought Jim Jim Carrey was done after Sonic the Hedgehog two. Uh, he came back. He's got a little bit of a pop belly and everything, so the teasing he's going to get bigger um, over time. And let me get some coffee here for a second. Like I was saying, the teasing he'll get bigger over time. Um, and what's interesting about Jim Carrey here is he came back not only if he got to have a, bit, a little bit of a belly, kind of like tease, hey, he's going to get bigger, but he also came back because I think they gave him the opportunity to do something that he hasn't done in a long time when it comes to his films, and that's play dual roles. That's right, he's going to play dual roles um, in this feature. Uh, and the other role he's playing is of Dr. Jail Robotnik. That's right. They got him playing, you know, you know, two roles, dual roles, if you will, of 
Robotnik, you know, the Robotnik Eggman we know, and the Robotnik of the past, the one that is connected to Shadow. Now, again, the trailer, I feel, really did a great job in, you know, you know showing that, yes, this is based on SA2, um, but, you know, it, but done in its own way. It's kind of ba basically with Shadow. I think with Shadow's character, he's kind of like that. It's kind of like that character that, you know, no matter what version of him you get, you're going to always get the same backstory with him, the same, you know, tragic backstory with him and everything. So I do like that. You know, I do like that, you know, we're going to get that same... Excuse me, that same tragic backstory uh, that we've gotten in other adaptations. You know, of course, originating from uh, the game, so I like that. Um, the only Sonic characters we see in here um, are Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles. And, you know, of course, you got the human characters, but, you know, I think Tom and, and, and I can't think of the other girl's name. Uh, the name of the uh, his wife in the film, I, I can't think of that. I, I can't think right. Like I said, it's early, so I can't really think of the names. But I know Tom and his wife were in this, and the other characters returning. You know as well. Um, we, we're not sure about the Wally character. I think you know. I think that's his name from the Knuckles uh, series that takes place in between uh, two uh, Sonic Two and this one. Uh, they they didn't say whether or not he was coming back. They haven't been confirmed whether he is back or not. Uh, he might be. They just you know haven't completely listed who's going to be in it, you know, on screen and voice wise. Because another thing a lot of fans are you know wanting with these films is they want other characters. They want Amy Rose. They want Rouge the Bat. You know because to a lot of them, you know, because to a lot of them. How can you tell the Sonic Adventure 2 uh, story loosely adapted or not if you do not have, you know, Amy Rose and Rouge the Bat? And that is a good question. But again, this is a loose adaptation. I mean, let me remind you of something, okay? We have had, as I said earlier, different, you know, different versions, uh, different, you know, interpretations of Shadow. As I mentioned earlier, same, you know, tragic backstory to an extent, but different interpretations, different introductions of him. We've had him show up in Sonic Boom. Of course, we've had him show up in Prime. You know, we've had him, you know, show up in the anime. And again, all, you know, all the time, they would always reference or loosely adapt or straight up adapt. In the case of Sonic X's, you know, Sonic X's case, straight up adapt. You know the SA2 plot. You know the tragic backstory for for Shadow. So, in the case of this film, you know we may not. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people are hoping they show up, but in this film, you know, in this film, you know we may we may have to wait because remember they do want to continue this franchise. They want to continue milking it as much as they can with movies and spin-off shows, you know, for the next several years. So we might have to wait, we may not, but we'll see. But uh, again, what's interesting about this film is, you know, getting back to it, yes, the heroes uh, do encounter Shadow. They find out that Shadow uh, is basically the opposite of Sonic, of, you know, as we all know. You know, you have this uh, voiceover by, I think, one of the generals of the army or something like that, of Gun, I believe. You know, this general of Gun telling Sonic that, hey, well, you found family and friends and happiness in a home. You know, Shadow found the opposite. He found nothing but pain and tragedy and stuff. And they actually show a, they actually show a scene, you know, after I think Gun or whoever it is destroys Jail Robotnik's facility, they show a scene uh, in the trailer with you, well, it looks like you have Shadow and you have Jail Robotnik kneeling down, uh, kneeling down on the ground next to a, a, a fallen body, which we can assume is Maria. So, so yeah, uh, basically, 
you know, they are going to go there, which might warrant them getting a PG-13 rating, but we'll see. But yeah, they are going to go there and everything. Uh, and what and after and uh, what happens is after they first encounter uh, Shadow, which is done, you know, you know, done in comedic kind of in a very humorous comedic Sonic style when it comes to these films, because you know Sonic is like, okay, how do we find this guy? And Tails sees this big old ball of fire just erupt from the uh, from the city. It's like maybe try that ball of fire over there, and Sonic's like, good idea, let's try that ball of fire. And uh, basically, you know, they land in what is supposed to be Tokyo, uh, and they encounter him. And we do hear Keanu's Reeves. We do hear Keanu's uh, voice for the first time come out of shadow. And it's like something like you're an unusual bunch or something like that. You know, very, he's not like, you know, very broody. He's not very amused, if you will, kind of brutish. If you know, I, I wouldn't say kind of brutish. He is brutish. Um, when he sees them. And uh, again, in humorous, comedic um, style, Sonic, you know, you have, you know, you have Knuckles when they see them, basically say, you know, he's more impressive than the Hitchcock I fought before. And Sonic just looks at him like, dude, I'm right here. I'm standing right next to you. And then, of course, that's where Sonic, uh, not Sonic, but Shadow basically um, says that, you know, you're an unusual bunch or something like that. And Sonic's like, look, we don't want to fight you. But then again, in the humorous, comedic Sonic style, Knuckles is like, actually, Sonic, I very much like to fight. And, you know, Sonic's like, no, you know, don't do it. And Knuckles still, he wants to go fight. But then Shadow just teleports from where he is, grabs Knuckles' uh, hand or his fist and goes, you know, just twists it like he breaks it or sprains it and everything. And, you know, basically... Sonic's like, okay, my turn. But then all of a sudden, Sh Shadow is just all over them. He's all, he basically kicks the hell out of Tails, grabs Sonic by the throat, and Sonic's like, can we talk about this? And then just drops him back down, and then just fall back, you know, fall back down to the ground with him. And it's like, yeah, you can definitely tell that even, you know, this is too much for him. And uh, so and basically, that's when you see Sonic be like, hey, we got, we, we, we he's, do you know, Sonic's like, you know, he's too powerful. He's too powerful and everything, and we need help. Now, throughout the trailer, we do see Shadow going on a little bit of a rampage. They do tease that it looks like uh, Jason Morrison's character, Tom, might get killed or, you know, at least injured. We're not really sure. Um, but, yeah, they are teasing that. I'm not – I don't think that's going to happen because why well, bring characters back if you're, you're going to kill them off? And then that's it. I mean, it's not the first time Jason Morrison's had a – a character of his killed off in the third film. And let's not forget that um, now non-canon X3 movie. Let's not forget that. But I don't think it's going to happen here because this is Sonic, not X-Men. That's the only difference. But, you know, they are making it look like and teasing that might happen. So basically, Sonic Sonic's realizing, look, dudes, you know, look, guys, we, we can't do this alone. We need help. We need help from the one person uh, we, you know, you know, we may not want to get help from, but, you know, hey, he, you know, probably has the means of, you know, at least helping us, you know, make, you know, having the technology to, you know, help us, you know, get an advantage or get some answers. And of course, they're talking about Robotnik, who, uh, played by Jim Carrey, who, you know, when we see him, he's patting his, you know, we see this big old mech rise from the sea, so we can assume, I mean, we can assume and that's what happened to him, that basically he got recovered uh, by Agent Stone, because we do see Agent Stone here um, as well, and they've been hiding out under the under the sea, under the ocean, or something like that. So they go to him uh, for help and everything, and we see him, we hear his laugh, he turns around in his chair, and he's patting his belly, cause he's got a little bit of belly, because one of the other critiques that uh, Jim said he, he wanted to come back is to kind of be a little bit of the fat robot. Now, we don't see that in the trailer, but again, I think they're teasing that. They are teasing that for later on in the film, if not in other uh, incarnations. Um, anyway, though, Sonic says they need to help. Now, what's funny is uh, when he, when Jim Carrey turns around and sees his robot neck and he's patting it, patting his belly, he, go, he basically gets shocked, like, oh, you know, you know, and Agent Stone's like, so we have visitors. 
And Knuckles is like, this is pathetic, even for you, Robotnik. You know, and then Sonic's like, we need your help. And then, you know, Jim Carrey, you know, in his role is going like, on one condition. Now, what's interesting about Jim Carrey as Robotnik here is he's grown his hair out kind of like very – he kind of grew his hair out basically in the story. Not in real life, but in the story. He grew his hair out to where it's all like long and everything, or at least to his – to his, uh, uh, to the back of his head, almost to his shoulders, kind of like grew it out. His mustache is all grown out a little bit more. And he's got, I think he's got a bit of a beard. Uh, but anyway, he's like on one condition. Sonic gives him one of his quills. You know, he does, and when he grabs it, he pr- brings it up to his face and does what he did like in the first film. He goes, or he, 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 oh, something like this. He goes, he goes, and then he grabs Stone and says, do this, because I think, because what he was trying to do, when he got, when he uh, touched the quill, he was going like, let's do it, and then he grabs Stone, and goes like, do this, and then we see a montage of, of him shaving uh, Robotnik, bald again, getting him cleaned up. You see Robotnik going into a changing room with his logo on it, and it says, and then he opens it up, up and everything, thing, and he's like, I need more room. Um, or I need more material, something like that. And Stone's like, I don't have any. <laughs> and Jim Carrey basically, as Robotnik, gra- you know, rips his st- piece of Stone's shirt off and goes like, find some. Now, what he does do, what the voice, now Jim Carrey does do a voiceover um, here uh, during this montage as Robotnik saying, if I can outrule the world, I might as well save it. And basically... You know, uh, we go back, so basically after that, we go back into what the trailer, you know, is about, you know, Shadow basically causing destruction, mayhem, you hear Sonic going like, you know, looking at him going like, what, uh, talking to him, saying, asking him, what have you done, and, or what did you do, and Shadow's like, what I had to, you know, and it's like, <laughs> it's like, okay, you know, Shadow's not messing around, uh, we do see Sonic and uh, Robotnik uh, use a ring to teleport, um, I'm not sure if they teleport to Sonic's world because, you know, maybe there's some answers there or something like that. But they do teleport. Now, that might, might tease the fact that we might get Amy. Maybe Rouge. We'll see. Because why would you use a ring that teleports between worlds uh, to, you know, uh, to try to seek answers and everything? So it's going to be interesting to see what happens there. But they do use a ring to teleport. So we might get... You know, we might get, you know, uh, an appearance, you know, maybe by Amy Rose and Rouge, maybe by the end of the film. Because, again, why use this ring to teleport, you know, to to possibly another world to get answers if you weren't maybe setting that up for something in the future? So I keep an eye out for that. Uh, but, yeah, the, the trailer ends basically with Shadow jumping off his motorcycle because, yeah, he does use his motorcycle to – chase down um, Sonic and Knuckles and Tails, and you hear Sonic going like, hey, no cheat codes, <laughs> you know. But, yeah, they, they do end the trailer with Shadow in the air on his motorcycle jumping off of it while Sonic's jumping off this beam, I think, on a bridge or a tower, and they're going right next to each other, just like in Sonic Adventure 2, just like in the beginning of Sonic Adventure 2. Very, great homage, great, great homage to that, great, you know, Great uh, adaption of that scene. And then you hear, as it's happening, you hear, do, 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 you know, live and learn. You know, so so that was kind of cool. That was kind of cool to see. And then you see the logo for Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog 3. So, you know, and that was it. And then they see in theaters December 2024. Um, honestly, again, overall, I thought this trailer was good. I thought it was great. Obviously, we're going to get more. We are going to get more. Tra- we're going to get more in another trailer because, come on, December is not for another what four months, especially with the release date, which is like what five days to you know five days before Christmas. So, so obviously, we're going to get another trailer before then. I would assume that when we get that next trailer, it might be around. I would say Thanksgiving, maybe after Halloween. So I would say around uh, post-Halloween, you know, midway to Thanksgiving, maybe even on Thanksgiving. So 
I would say keep a lookout between Halloween and Thanksgiving as to when the second trailer will come out. Now, they might surprise us and say, hey, here's the second trailer, you know, a month later to make up for the fact that we've had to wait. But I think we're going to get the next trailer, the second uh, trailer, second and final trailer. I would, Well, actually, second trailer, because I always do like a final trailer uh, a couple of weeks or at least the, the, at the start of the month of the movie's release. So I'd say the second possible last trailer or, you know, will be uh, basically between Halloween and Thanksgiving. And then the third possible final trailer, if they do one, will be at the beginning of December. You know, which, you know, to help really give you an idea of what's to come and maybe show you a little bit, tease you a little bit more with what they got planned. But again, overall, I thought what I saw was good. And I know I'm not alone in that. I know a lot of people were finally happy that this came out and were uh, thrilled with what they saw. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm totally fine, fine with what we got here. Again, Keanu Reeves, I think just with the, you know, brief time we heard him as Shadow is doing a phenomenal job. I mean, I'll say this, Sega, if you need anybody to come in and do a VA for a Shadow, uh, for Shadow in future games, pay, you know, pay Keanu Reeves whatever money you can, because if he can give us a great, uh, a great voice for Shadow here, then there's no doubt he can do the same for your game. So if I'm you, I pay what I pay him whatever he needs to be paid to uh, bring him in and do the voice, you know, for the game. But that's just my opinion. Um, but yeah, you know, again, this is a. But again, the, the trailer is great. Definitely gives you a taste of, you know, what's to come and everything in the near future. And like I said, I believe we're going to get another trailer between Halloween and Thanksgiving at the latest. You know, it, you know, the exact to latest, I should say, the exact to latest. And if they choose to do so, if they choose to do so, we might get a trailer, you know, a final trailer, uh, you know, at the start of December, basically weeks before the movie premieres. But again, that's just me. That's just me. Now, uh, in closing, I'm sure a lot of people are wondering, okay, why did it take so long? You know, they had... San Diego Comic Con. They had Gamescom. You know what? What was the issue? What was the issue? It's like they gave us the title teaser. You know, they gave us the title teaser back in the spring, I believe, or was it uh, beginning of this year, end of last year, uh, beginning of the spring, something like that. You know, they gave us the title teaser. So usually that would follow up with a trailer, like maybe a couple months later, maybe San Diego Comic Con. Uh, from what I've understood, from what I've understood, uh, basically they wanted to focus on the promotion for Transformers 1. And I think they felt that if they also promoted Sonic with it, that Sonic would overshadow Transformers 1. So I think that's why we didn't get any uh, trailer, you know, 30 second trailer, you know, uh, teaser, whatever. Uh, until now, because they want to put the main focus on Transformers 1. And that's going to be the main priority for right now. You know, that's going to be the main priority. Because what we got here, I think we're going to get an extended version of the trailer. You know, and now that, now that I think about it, that might be when we get the second trailer. You know, we might get the second trailer before Transformers 1. And then that one will show up, you know... Uh, that week, you know, that Friday or, you know, yeah, that Friday or even that Tuesday, you know, following uh, Transformers 1's release, that's when I think we'll get the second trailer. So correct myself when I say that the time frame for a second trailer, I believe will be between, you know, uh, the release of Transformers 1 and Thanksgiving. And if they decide to do a third trailer between Thanksgiving and the beginning of December. So that's your time frame for the next two trailers, in my opinion. One, the second one to be released alongside the debut of Transformers 1 in theaters. And between, you know, between that time frame and Thanksgiving. And a third and final one between Thanksgiving and, December, and the beginning of December. But, yeah, again, that's why, uh, from what I understand, you know, we didn't hear anything until now. Because they wanted to put a lot of the focus on Transformers one, and you could definitely see that that's what they were doing at San Diego Comic-Con more so than anything. 
Uh, but again, I thought. But again, getting back to the movie, to the trailer, I thought it was great. You know, obviously it didn't show us everything or everyone, if you want to look at it that way. But I thought they did a phenomenal job. I thought they did a phenomenal job. So it's got me hyped. I know it's got people like Frank Kiel hyped and everything. You know, so I'm really, I'm really looking forward to it. I really am. I am really looking forward to it. Um, what's ironic about it is it comes out, like I said, uh, five days before Christmas. And you can definitely tell strategically they planned this out because they know, hey, kids and families are going to be out. Fans that grew up on Sonic, fans that grew up as fans, of, you know, fans that grew up on Shadow, you know, especially, you know, people that love the Sonic Adventure 2 game, even to this day. Uh, the strategic planning for, you know, for the release of this movie couldn't be better because they know they're going to get crowds. They are going to get sellouts. Well, I wouldn't say sellouts, but they're, they're going to get near sellouts for this film. And I think that's great. I think that's really great. You know, and it's going to be a box office hit. It's going to be huge. It's going to be very, very huge. Uh, but let me know what your thoughts are, guys. What did you think on the Sonic the Hitchcock 3 trailer? Did you think it delivered the first one? Because, again, I believe, correcting myself from earlier, I believe we are going to get a second trailer uh, released uh, in theaters and eventually online along with Transformers, along with the debut of Transformers 1. And then I believe we're going to get a third and final trailer, if they do one, you know, possibly at the beginning of December, weeks before, you know, the movie comes out. Time frame wise, the second trailer between, you know, the time of, you know, the second trailer will be released, you know, to accompany the release of Transformers 1. So between that time frame and Thanksgiving, and then the third and final trailer, if they do one between Thanksgiving and and the beginning of December. But again, guys, let me know what your thoughts were. Comment below. Love to hear from you guys on all on the uh, trailer. What did you think about it? What do you think we might see in the next trailers? Because you know there's one, at least one or two more coming. Uh, let me know uh, what your thoughts are. What are your thoughts on you know the you know the fact that Sonic's gonna team up with Robotnik? At least that's what they're alluding to here. Uh, for the time being in the movie, what are your thoughts on them using a ring to teleport and go to another world? And maybe that's teasing, you know, a couple of female characters showing up. Let me know. I'd uh, love to hear from you guys and everything on this. And what do you think the rating might be? There have been teases that it might be PG-13 because it's a little darker, uh, you know, because of Shadow and his story. Or do you think they're going to stick with the traditional PG? Uh, let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts, and yeah, that's about it. I do apologize if I stumbled a little bit on my words. Like I said, I woke up just about a half hour ago, got myself a coffee so uh, to wake myself up. But uh, let me know what your thoughts are. I'd love to hear how you feel about it. Comment below, like the video, ring the bell for notifications, subscribe to the channel. Also, click on the links in the description to my Teespring store to check out merchandise you can't get anywhere else as well. As check out uh, the places, links provided in the description as well, where you can find my content elsewhere. But guys, give me your thoughts, and until then, I'm out.